This conference will now be recorded. Good evening all. Am I audible? <clears throat> Do you have any doubts? Before I start up this session, I'll take your queries. Please let me know if you have any queries. Uh, Kritika, I'll I'll confirm. So this is what we have done in the last class, defining the fiscal year variant, assign company code to fiscal year variant, and uh, what is posting period variant, how to assign company code to posting period variant, and uh, what is that open and close posting period, and how to define field status variant, and how to assign. Am I correct?
so once if you define the failed status variant you have to assign assign failed status variant to company code okay first we do practical things type spro press enter key It's taking time. SAP reference IMG. <clears throat> So the responsing time is too low today. So that's why it's taking time. Close other activities. Still is loading. <coughs> Yeah, it's loaded. Financial accounting new. Next, financial accounting global settings. ledgers failed status in that we have assigned company code to failed status variant so click on this assign company code to failed status variant so yesterday we created a failed status variant called mt10 Check that is that available. Take position, company code, MT10, press. Enter key. And field status variant is also same thing like MT. And you click save button. 
ओके ओके सो सेइंग दैट एमटी वन जीरो डज नॉट एक्जिस्ट इन द टेबल टी जीरो जीरो फोर बी इट मींस स्टिल वी हैव वन क्रिएटेड एनी फील्ड स्टेटस वेरिएंट सो वी हैव टू क्रिएट सो दिस इज द मेन रीजन सो इट्स शोइंग दैट एरर मैसेज सो इफ यू डिड नॉट नोटिस जस्ट लेट्स सी व्हाट इज एरर मैसेज इज डिस्प्लेइंग सी दिस एम एंट्री एम टी वन जीरो डज नॉट एक्सिस्ट इन द टेबल फोर वी सो चेक दट एंट्री सो इट्स नॉट अवेलेबल इन दिस फील्ड स्टेटस कॉलम प्रेस एस्केप then first you define field status variant in last class i explained about what is field status variant correct what we can do with the help of field status variant where we can configure suppress entry required entry and optional entry for posting okay so now define mt10 as a variant name then take this assign okay and that will take later so the menu path for this img financial accounting new financial accounting global settings new ledger fields then define field status variant so we just click on this and select the default one 001 001 is a default variant which is created by sap itself so what i am doing is just for your understanding thing that what the data entry or what is the what informations we have in this variant so what that would consist so selecting this just double click on field status group and make notice how many groups we have so collections of groups together that makes one entry is called as field status variant so we have g001 g002 g003 like this this double click on this g001 and you have the groups so general data groups optional uh, account assignment groups additional account uh, assignment group payment groups so on so on for your understanding purpose just double clicking on general data and make ensure what is suppress entry you have uh, uh, optional entries and required entry but no uh, means nothing is get selected for required entry then do come back again come back and again come back okay so we have most of the data in this 001 so using this field status 001 and i'm i'll be creating a new variant by copying this one select then do copy and delete this existing name the name is called mt10 then you name it as field status variant for mt10 then you press enter key then do copy all click copy all button so this is the notification once gets copied the number of entries how much gets copied from that m triple zero one to mt one zero then you press enter key for this now it's copied but still is not saved then you click save button then you save it so this data was saved sir how can i verify all that field status group have copied or not then select mt10 then in the left hand side in the dialog structure there is an option called as field status group so double click over there
and say this g001 four five six seven so on so on you have a lot of group option okay then double click and uh, as per that company requirement and you can configure what is optional what is suppressed and what is required entry so i'll be taking the default settings as it is then you exit is so next we have assign company code to field status variant so field status with the company code is mt10 then field status mt10 the menu path remains the same same menu path there is an option called as assign company code to field status variant into the next option of field define field status variant so click on this img activity button position take the company code mention that mt10 press enter key then again field status variant mt10 then save it save clear so how to define field status variant and how to assign it so you ask me if you have any doubts could you tell me what is field status variant A field status variant groups together several field status groups. So several field state field status groups makes one variant. So that you can assign a field status variant to each company code okay if you have multiple company code the same field status can be assigned okay but in this case i'm taking only one company code as mt10 if you sorry mt10 if you create again mt11 12 13 14 like that so the same variant i can use it so no need to create it again a field status group a field status group specify which fields are ready for input and which fields must be filled or which fields or suppressed when enter when entering documents this specification is known as the 
field status variant or field status so i hope everyone is understood what is field status variant clear right mm. so next we have uh, tolerance group for users so in a company there is employee groups and also employees are working but what is the tolerance uh, value or setting so with the help of this reference key so tolerance for the entry for entry of documents and granting of cash discount can be determined for all employees of the particular group for payment settlement so that's why we are using tolerance group for employees again we trying to giving so comment section sima okay this is not required okay so our next one is field status sorry tolerance group for employees or users so this is an accepted deviation from specified values from specified values with this references to the key tolerance <clears throat> for entry of and <clears throat> sorry granting of cash discounts can be determined for all employees of the group for payment settlement but we are not creating any user account so directly whatever the value is going to be applicable that applic uh, no that we are going to be configuring for company code itself we will be not taking any groups for users okay so this is our tolerance now let's see how to go for this financial accounting financial accounting global settings excuse me sir yeah tell uh, so this one girl is not able to log in to your class she has dropped a message in no. the group as well so 
sorry your voice is breaking ma please repeat it again the same question uh, so there is one girl is not able to log into your class she has dropped a message in the group as well no i did not lock that um, uh, group ma it still is uh, unlocking just you you know share that url ma let her do one more time share the same url let her log Okay, so I'll do it. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so what I was searching is tolerance group. so go for financial accounting sorry general ledger business transactions open item clearing then clear differences and there is an option called as define tolerance group for employees so this is an option where we have to configure so one more time i'll repeat from the beginning so put slash n spro sap reference img financial accounting new or you can go for for financial accounting general ledger accounting business transactions there you have open item clearing then next to that clear differences so select define tolerance group for employees or users okay so click on this then take a new entry okay but do not enter any group okay so groups employees so that has to be created by the hr consultant so we are not focusing towards employee groups employees names that and all okay so i am take taking that uh, company code as mt10 then amount per document so in mnc company they used to have what is the maximum upper limit for per document so i'll be taking that 11 times 999 One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So eleven times nine, nine. I have taken. It is amount per document. He can able have open item. Open item means uh, similarly like uh, outstanding bills payable and bills receivable. So amount per open item, account item. So nine times type nine, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. so this is the maximum upper limit i am giving for posting procedure so that if you not like you can take four digits five digits or six digits how you want then and cash discount per line item you can take 10% and what is uh, permitted payment differences for 
company so if i have 100 rupees like a revenue if there is 10 percent that's okay but not less than 10 percent so similarly like this for advance sorry not advance it is bills payable or expenses okay 10 percent so revenue and expenses amount is 100 100 100 percent is amount then percentage is 10 percent payment differences that is going to be accepted by this area that's all so now everything is updated and again come back go to position then type company code because i have not created tolerance group okay so directly i created company code so press enter key and say that so this is how our uh, configuration is configured so now come back to the area so here empty any doubts so next we have document types so first we'll try to understand and what is document so document type is nothing but it's classifying this accounting documents document types is nothing but what classifying accounting documents and it is noted in the document header and there are some attributes that controls the entry of document so just like voucher or invoice so on so on so which are themselves stored in the document or stipulated for each document type clear this is all about just a small definition what is document type and and we required some of the number ranges just like voucher number okay so in that in this case referring that as a number range so the number range is assigned to the relevant documents is determined on the basis of the document type so if i have a document type there is some number range so that number range is associated with the document type clear any doubts So we'll take documents, sorry, document types. So the document types classifies accounting documents. it is noted in the document header that i'll show you there are some attributes those document attributes that controls the entry of the document or which are themselves stored in the document or stipulated for 
each document. type particular the number range assigned to the relevant documents is determined on the basis of the document type. It is all about document types. Okay, next we have some doubts, sir, where I could able to find out this document and number range. So we we'll talk about again one more is called as number range itself here. So number range which identifies the number range for the doc for the number which are assigned the process by which numbers are allocated for the business object so which are uh, there are two types of number assignment in sap one is internal number assignment and external number assignment internal number assignment occurs automatically in sap r3 system and external number assignment which is performed either by user or external system or user has to be entered manually so this concept is called as manual or external number assignment but in this case we are going to use the number range uh, like uh, internal number assignment which means the system itself it's identifying and uh, issuing that number for each one of the document entry so this called as number ranges number which identifies number range for number assignment the process by which numbers are allocated to business object there are two types of number assignment so number one assignment one is then second external number assignment internal number assignment occurs automatically in the r3 system r stands for real time three stands for three tier architecture and this number assignment external number assignment is performed either by the user or an external system so for your understanding purpose 
we'll try to us we'll have one small example document types then we'll have a description then number range next we have interval like a from number then to number so like this okay if there is a document type like asa it's a code actually in sap which refers general ledger the number range is zero one but the interval give one double zero double zero double zero double zero so this much value and again one double line double line double line double line eight times so from and to this is the interval in real time sap system which will have this much of in uh, no interval number assignment for sa document okay but in our example we will take only within 100 series okay this this is the real time one what i am giving based on uh, number of entries especially in multinational company they will have a lakhs uh, lakhs together number ranges per day they used to get a uh, you know 10000 50000 uh even it is less also based on that number of transactions we have particular we have kr which refers uh, vendor invoice posting then it is number range is 19 and again this is two series this would be two series like this next we gain we have kz kz means vendor payment posting the number range is 15 then again start from 3 and then 3 series next i am taking k means vendor document posting vendor document posting then number range is 17 this is the number interval for that next we have uh, dr dr means customer invoice posting 18 next dz customer payment posting here we have 14 then selecting this next da customer debit credit memo mails written so like that so credit memo then debit memo that posting it's 16 <coughs> next again 
डबल ये असेट अकाउंटिंग जीरो वन सो मे बी यू कैन आस्क सर इयर ऑल्सो आई हैव जीरो वन देर ऑल्सो वी हैव जीरो वन वॉट मेक्स द डिफरेंस इज हियर but the number range is differs if i have same number range but the intervals are different interval see that goes to 8 series for asset accounting next again we have one more document is called as af depreciation posting 04 then 9 series so this complete set of information about document types you ask me if you have any doubts will i will show you later about interval and number ranges so this is this interval we have to create by manually this automatically identifies uh, by the number ranges for the respective document here this is all about document types and number ranges okay now let's say in sap so how to get that information so to get that information SPRO, SAP Reference IMG. Go for Financial Accounting, New. Next, Financial Accounting Global Settings. There we have a document. Click on this document. Next, we have document types. So SAP itself, uh, you know, in the IDES we have document types. if you want you can create it but in sap we have sa dz dr like that so just you click define document types just have a look go to position so now if i type sa press enter key see so this general account document double click and see what is the number range so number range is 01 okay and see the account types which are allocated means allowed a d k m s so all account types are allowed in this case it means a d k m s so for uh, general ledger accounting document account types are allowed a d k m s okay the next again come back then click here next what is it kr so go kr position kr press enter key double click and say that 19 but customer is not allowed account types customer account types are not allowed for this vendor invoice <clears throat> except other details are allowed okay so it means a k m s that's all for k z again come back k z here itself i have double click and see again a k m s so same thing is applied for vendor payment now i have to check k a come back go to position take that document type specify that ka and double click and see the account types a k m s that also allowed 
next we have dr come back define document types position dr press enter key double click 18 number range is 18 we have wanted to see that interval just you click the number range information which is still not defined for document and your company so let's see later and see what and all account types is allowed for this case adkms again is allowed for customer invoice okay then dz click back button position dz customer payment number range is 14 and see here number range is 14 it's correct and but in this case customer and gl account only two set of parameter is allowed okay so customer means d and uh, next one is gs that's all material is also not allowed and da next one we have da click again position take da press enter key double click again ds number 16 so 16 ds next asset accounting double a document type double a press enter key double click again zero one but all account types are allowed here so i'm copying that adkms the last one depreciation so go to here document types position af enter depreciation document 03 asset and gl a yes so take care a yes so these are all account types so select account types are allowed so here don't want to create or define again the document types so only just for your understanding purpose i've explained you what document types you have and what is the number range and what is the interval needs to be created for real time set i hope this one understood document types if company demands for you to create document types and follow this uh, attributes or information and create it your own document types as you require so the it is the option how we can define clear you ask me if you have any doubts Is it understood what is document types and number ranges use the chat box and you type as yes if that understood and please let me know is is that making difficulty document types number ranges tolerance 
field status groups the terms are a bit complicated complexity we have Next, we have posting keys. So posting keys that describes the type of transactions which is entered in the line item. For every posting key, you must specify the properties which controls the entry of the line item that are denoted the line item itself. The most important properties which are derived from the posting keys are account types, then allocation of the debit and credit side what is going to be debit side and what is going to be credit side so that we have to specify uh, by mentioning that posting keys okay so the properties of the account types the allocation to the debit side and credit side the possible or necessary specifications which are to be entered in the line item so these many uh, you know options to be considered most important properties which are derived from the posting keys clear and sir what is account type so as we know here as we have entered here account account types like adkms okay so uh, uh, set accounts uh, what is that one more customer accounts vendor accounts gl accounts Okay, these are the account types that key that specifies that accounting area and that account type is identified the which account is applicable because the same account number can be used. So we have to understand ADKMS and uh, according to the document types. If I have a gen general ledger document, the posting key will be 40 and 50. I'll be taking one more new sheet. Name it as posting key. Posting key description, and then debit. Credit. Okay, so posting key forty and fifty. So this applicable for general ledger. General ledger document. Then what is 40? 40 is debit GL entry. This would be credit GL entry. So it means, means okay, next, if I have 
vendor then 31 25 then 29 and 39 these are the posting keys if i use in vendor invoice so 31 which takes into credit side more the next we have debit next if I use in case special GL debit GL debit then it is to be debited next again special GL credit then posting key is 39 this is our posting keys okay suppose next we have customers suppose if i have a customer then posting key is zero one that's in invoice but that denotes into debit side next 15 that applies for incoming payment incoming payment incoming payment is credit so you have to remember all this posting keys that would help for uh, document entries and also you can notice with the help of 09 special gl debit again it's debit only next 19 special gl credit then is to be credit only hmm. last one is asset accounting asset 70 75 70 means debit asset it means debited only then this would be credit asset 75 credit ADKMS <clears throat> Is it clear? Account types and posting keys <clears throat> posting keys the definition is posting key describes the type of transactions which is entered in a line item a line item like a 
Mr. One example like Mr. Raj started his business with rupees fifty thousand. Then what is a debit line item and credit line item according to SAP? So one account is to be debited, one account is to be credited. Which account is credited? Raj capital account is credited, cash account is debited. So in that we considered a and what and all will be having in that we have debit and ledger account ledger name it's called as uh, account types and allocations to the debit side and credit side and we have to specify uh, necessary specify which is to be which are to be entered into the line item so that describes this posting keys so posting key describes the type of transactions which is entered in the line item for every posting keys you specify properties which control the entry of the line item or <coughs> sorry note it the line item itself next the most important properties which are derived from the posting keys or number one the account type number two the location to the debits or credit sites number three possible or necessary specification which are to be entered the line item I hope all of you understood this posting case you ask me if you have any doubts the next part is account account types what account types we have ADKMS A key that specifies accounting area to which an account belongs 
example of account types are number one asset accounts number two customer accounts next number three vendor accounts number four gl accounts the account types is required in addition in addition to the account number to identify an account because the same number same account number sorry same account number can be each account type so this is all about account types this is your details adkms account types posting key number the state of that posting key 40 50 is debit and credit in the case of general ledger account or sa document in this case uh, Uh, DZ, DR, okay, and uh, KZ, KR. We have we have uh, 15 and 01, which states that uh, debit and credit. Here also that denotes debit and credit. In the case of uh, asset accounting, 70 and uh, 75, which identifies that as debit and credit. 70 is debit and 75 is credit. So this you have to remember for next upcoming classes. Again, is going to be an important. Even when you go for any interview, they'll catch you like anything using this document types and posting keys. So you ask me if you have any doubts. If you wanted to see the posting keys in tal uh, in sap we have document types in the same menu path there is define posting key and uh, so here we have 40 you check here say this 40 40 means debit entry account type is gl account then 50 it means credit entry then gl account then double click and make ensure what is the indicator 50 is the indicator uh, for credit and what are the account types gl account and uh, reverse posting key is 40 in the payment transaction come back then for that means debit it applies for account type gl account and again you come back and you check 70 75 say this 70 is debit asset then 75 credit asset double click and see this and it applies for account type asset 
and reversal posting key 75 okay like that the interviewer will be asking what is the reversal posting key for 70 then obviously it is this is to be 75 because once it's uh, debit and another one is credit first line item is debit and second line item is credit so again click back next 75 then say this reversal posting key is 70 and this and account types is and one more as i said 31 so 31 is vendor invoice double click and say the account types account type is vendor and this is attributes is what is related and say the definitions and you can there you can understand that okay and reversal posting key is 22 can come back and next we have uh 20 sorry zero one in the beginning invoice customer invoice and say this account types and main field status and say this you have created separate field status right and see what and all optional entries you have and uh required entries you have so whatever you have configured and applied for the invoice that and all is, is this is going to be reflected in this case so that's what we created in the beginning it says suppress entry optional entry and required entry if i say that optional entry then every time is going to be asking even if you skip that as an empty then not to worry because system is going to be uh, you know moving for next field so this is what field status click trips that's all so again close this this is what posting keys document types number ranges so on so on thus we'll see uh chart of account accounting groups so on so on clear so just glance everything No doubts. So document types posting keys. Okay. 
I am not sending any notes, ma. This is the notes. Whatever I am teaching you, this is the note itself. Yeah, yeah, recording will be there. We will send you that link. Okay. Okay, so see you all. Uh, make ensure that by tomorrow's class, how is going to be managed. So, you have some event it seems i'll ask uh, your coordinator and uh, i'll let you know about this yes maleka so uh, our assistant uh, assisting team they have not uh, put put up in the uh, you are you know youtube uh, maybe if that uploaded then if I get a link, then immediately I'll post in the WhatsApp group. That our uh, team and I'll come back. Uh, that's what Ananya, I'll clarify. Give me time, uh, some time space. I'll clarify that uh, tomorrow's class. Okay, so see you all, so meet you soon.